Good afternoon. Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. It's really getting windy out here. This is uh, Anna's litter of phantom schnoodles. And these guys are six weeks old today. And this is their first time out in the grass. And it, I mean, we just literally set them down and turned the camera on. So they are not at all afraid of the grass. They are liking this. I really hope that the wind is not going to be too bad for you to hear this. Um, so Anna is really done a really good job with them, except she's eaten so much puppy food, she's so fat. So we're going to take about eight pounds off of Anna when she's done. Uh, I think she's been eating more than her fair share of puppy food, that's for sure. So um, I know she's going to end up potty, and that's what she's looking for, and the kids won't leave her alone. So I may have to move the kennel here in a second, depending on where she decides to do this. Um, these guys are going to get their first shots, possibly this afternoon. Um, I like to do it on their six-week birthday. It just really depends on my schedule when I get this done. I still have one more litter to go that I'd like to do videos on today. I'm not going to do uh, individual photos this week, only because... It is so nice here. We are working outside. We're going to work in flower beds. And um, I just don't have the time to do photos and uh, pictures. Of course, Anna has to potty and they're all over there with her. So I'm trying to be a little bit, give her some privacy. Um, all right, let me see if I can move this kennel without shutting this video off. Come on, guys. Everybody move, everybody move, everybody move. Okay, I know I just really screwed that whole thing up and you've seen the ground all over the place. But I don't want anybody to step in it. All right, sorry about that. I know that was a, a conglomeration to do that, but if I don't, if I shut this off, it's a lot more complicated to put loaded up to YouTube. Um, Anna loves her kids. She is a great mom. She truly, truly is. Her kids are always, always such nice puppies. And I know many of you that have seen Anna before know that my aunt and uncle have one of them. They call Murphy. And Murphy uh, is my uncle's baby. She is his heart and soul. And uh, I keep telling him he's going to kill her with kindness. He feeds her everything he eats. Even against everything we tell him that it's not good for the dog to have table food and especially anything that's been cooked but uncle bob can't stand it he thinks that she's upset because he's eating and she's not so what i'm going to do today is if i can keep somebody in this photo frame i'm going to give you weights and microchip numbers and let you know how big they're getting so the neon orange collared puppy is a male and he is two pounds 13 ounces and we're going to find collar colors in a little bit Neon green collar puppy, which is jumping on mom over there right now, is a male. He is 2 pounds, 10.5. Of course, she's going to run back and forth and make me try and keep him in frame. The yellow collar puppy is 7715, and that's a female. The light pink collar out here, and I think the neon pink and the light pink are right underneath me. There they are, both in the corner. Um, the light pink is 7702. She's a female, three pounds, 5.5. And the neon pink collared puppy is 1780, and it's a female, three pounds, 4.5. So there's the neon green one that just took off. So that'll kind of give you an idea of where they're at on weights. Uh, they're doing really good. Uh, they're eating dry dog food, which today, um, we're going to bring some of them in the house with us and start letting them uh, go away from mom a little bit more. And then by the end of this week, they'll all be off of mom and in the house with us. And then Anna's gonna get a severe haircut. Oh, she's gonna dig a hole, that's lovely. Um, we're gonna give her a haircut. We're going to shave all her skirt off, shave her legs off, and give her a super good bath and trim those eyebrows. Um, the puppies have been getting a bath every week all congregating down here under me. There's the neon green arguing with the light pink. The neon green's laying there, and that's the neon orange guy in the shade right here. And there's neon green. 
see who else is in here. Here's the yellow collar. So we've all gone down there. Nobody stands still long enough to really, really. The neighbor behind us is plowing, so they keep watching the tractors. It's such a pretty day out here today. I love being out here. I'm going to start on some flower beds today. Uh, the, the nice thing about where we live is my view. We're on top of a hill, so it's like Mount Everest up here when the wind blows. But right now, this is the view I'm looking at that you can't see. And you can see the tractor down there is doing the plowing. It looks so cool when they get the fields plowed. And the creek down here below has finally calmed down after we had the horrible flooding the other night. So, they're all interested in what's going on with the tractor behind us. Says, this is something new we've never seen. Um, I know many of you will be here soon. And um, I can't remember, and I should have looked it up. If any of you are shipping your puppy, we're going to be sending boxes out next week. And if you are picking up your puppy in person, you will not get a box. You'll get everything here uh, when you come to pick up your puppy. But you will also get two t-shirts. So remind me when you come because they give everybody a snoodle shirt. And if we're shipping you your puppy, please call me this week and tell me what sizes you need. Because when I send your box out, they'll have to go in your box. So that's just kind of a heads up on that. Um, Please don't call me and ask me what colors I have because I do lots of different colors and you're just going to have to wait and pick out what you want when you come by what I have left. So that, that kind of makes that a little bit easier. She goes, quit chewing on me, kids. She's been very patient with them, but she is about to the end of a rope of patience. Um, they're very... They play with her all day long and I... You know, there's just not a lot of room for her to... She's got a four-foot cubicle in, and then she goes out in the kennel, and they follow... They At least they can't follow her out the door, because it is a spring-loaded door. But if they could, they would follow her out, which I think would be a lot more problemsome, problemsome for her. But that's a hard word to say. Um, Sally, what else can I tell you? Um, they've been getting their toenails done in a bath. I see we said that. Uh, when you come, we're going to pluck their ears. We're going to show you how to uh, scoop their face. And I'm going to shave the bottom of their feet. There, she said, get off me, kid. That was the green collar puppy. That's what I mean. I think she's finally getting fed up with them. So it's time to go ahead and bring them in the house. She will be glad that we did that. This is the neon orange sitting down over here. And I'm going to walk over here because Anna's decided to go to the bathroom again. And I don't want anybody to step in it. So that worked out a whole lot better that time. Except I'm changing the whole shape of my puppy pen. I hope you're about done, Anna. Good grief. Good grief. All right. I know, Anna. You're so excited. What? She says, come on, let's play, Mom. She said, these guys aren't big enough to play rough with me. Yeah, she says, take them away, take them away. <laughs> some moms are good until I think they're six months old. And some moms, it's like, oh, she's going to teach them how to eat grass. She says, I'm having all the grass I can eat. Oops, you missed that, but that little pup ran all the way there and smashed right into the fence. It was like, I know I can run and do something, but only a certain limited way. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? When you come, um, I've sent out some of the videos. If you have not received your videos, please email me and let me know. No, don't email me. Please text me. Let me know you have not gotten your videos for Anna's Litter. Um, and if you would, just shoot me an email address along with your text, and I will send those right out to you. Because I know as these were purchased, 
we did them in different succession. I didn't do them all at one shot. So I want to make sure you all have your email that had several videos on it and that you all have your vitamin information. Um, those are things that you'll need that I just, I want to make sure you have them before we send the, before we send the puppies home with you. So I'm going to close for now. I hope you've enjoyed their video. Um, and again, I'm not putting individual photos on this week because I'm going to work on the yard and flower beds and everything I don't have a chance to do usually because the weather's bad. So have a great one. Give me a call if you have any questions. If you have not booked in for puppy pickup, please give me a phone call and I'll get you down on the calendar. And uh, we'll see many of you soon. Have a great day.